All right, these cameras are shaking as areas that aren't seeing severe weather are still getting the effects of all the severe weather. And here's what I mean by that. It's still very warm, but it's very muggy out there. High dew point, high humidity values, and strong winds. These are the winds that want to fuel a lot of these thunderstorms as they begin to develop across the region. And most of them, you know, it looks like we're actually getting spared a bit more, but here's the idea. I still have that severe thunderstorm watch staying in effect until nine o'clock tonight. So at least for the next three more hours, we can expect more and more of these thunderstorms. The most of them right now, though, they're kind of in two little clusters. We're talking one of them is going to be near Andrews and La Mesa moving up to the panhandle right along the line of the dry line and then in Fort Stockton into to Sanderson. That's the one I've really been watching because that's the one that produced that tornado warning a bit earlier. Severe thunderstorm warned and at least until about seven o'clock. We're now down to about a quarter to maybe even ping pong sized tail. So about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. Still enough to cause some damage. I still don't recommend going outside. Just make sure you guys are taking shelter in a sturdy building. And it looks like the one, the warning in La Mesa still staying in effect right now. Uh, and even the one just in the north of Andrews again till about seven o'clock due to heavy rain, strong winds, and again, some of that hail hanging around. By tonight, most of the stuff will be gone, so that's why I only have 10% chance. It's still gonna stay pretty warm, and it's really because of those winds. A lot of cloud cover hanging around. You still have plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. Eh, make sure you get that AC running. You guys are probably gonna want it. All right, tomorrow. All right, we can breathe. Whew, Thursday, 92, it's gonna be hot. We got, you know, short sleeves, hat, sunglasses, you name it. That's going to be a lot nicer. Here's what I got for you guys over the next couple of hours. Again, most of this stuff just moving its way farther and farther out to the east, kind of along that same line. And you know what? Most of them are just going to be split. But by Thursday, look at Thursday. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. Next to nothing in the forecast. I got plenty of sunshine, maybe just near Snyder, maybe to the east a little bit. Small chance of a quick little pop up shower thunderstorm, but still not on a whole lot of coverage. Other than that, here's the future track from the IBM model. Again, they're showing a lot of this stuff moving its way out by around eight, nine o'clock tonight. And then we are nice and clear all throughout the majority of our Thursday. I think we can all appreciate that. Hey, if you like the rain or you wish you actually got a little bit more of it, Saturday, Sunday, that's when we start to see a bit more of that actual shower activity coming in. The days where we don't see rain, hot, hot, hot. Crystal? Jordan, thank